Petrino tries to get him an easy completion early. A lot, but he's got all the tools. Great size, terrific arm strength. You're going to see a tip ball. Olsen, it looked like Olsen Pierre in the middle. Very balanced. They don't want to run tonight. Tommy Brown gets his first carry, and Miami is energized. And long. You don't want to force it. If it's not there, just check the ball down. Third down was a major problem for the Miami defense last year, and if that pass him in the Louisville administration, Bob Petrino was on the short list. He repaired some relationships, and here he is tonight. Back to the ground. Brown can be close to that first down mark and convert the third down. Keep it on the ground. Dominic Brown. If Dominic got a chain link, that's about it. Maybe 40 pounds. And Reese, you mentioned it early. Bobby Petrino's offenses, they love running the football. You got a brand new quarterback making his first start. Got to make it easy. On first down, the initial first down of the game for either team. Empty out. And Will Gardner cuts the MVP of the BCS championship game. Not expected to go tonight. On second and short, they'll take a shot into the second straight play. Just a nice job of reading coverage, giving his receiver. Sorry, it was Eli Rogers in the slot running the wheel route, but getting into that soft spot in that defense. First and ten. Back to the ground. Brown hurdles the defender and gets. Gardner right on target again after showing some nerves early. Junior College transfer. They're hoping to anchor the middle and. That gets some pressure on the outside from Chickalo, but no pressure coming this time. There's Anthony Chickalo, Tyreek McCord, Quan Muhammad. Somebody has got to get pressure right now. Yeah, Defensive no. coordinator Mark D'Onofrio. Julius Peppers on the end. <laughs> Second and one, rather than taking a shot. There's running for a shot and getting deep into the red zone. The hood picked up 19 in his first and goal. Might as well give it right back to him. Brown trying to bounce it to the outside. Pick up a three and a half, maybe. Brown hit in the backfield, gets away from her to lose, still driving down close to the goal. It'll be third down. Third and goal. Gardner roll. He's got a man in the back of the end zone. He has one in the middle, too. Top scene member. You see Chris Acosta right here get a pull, and it kind of draws the defense that way. It's a nice play design. There were a couple targets, I thought, here. Will Gardner could have taken advantage. Starting at their 10-yard line. Will Gardner hit and fumble. Ball's on the ground. And they attempt to bring in pressure. Watch what they do off the edge right here. Watch the stunts on the inside. They bring pressure. Look at the guys are coming. They're bringing six guys. Get to the quarterback. Cause the fumble. Great job adjusting and bringing pressure on the young quarterback. Harriman and Chickalo knocked it free. Armbrister jumped on top of it. Jermaine Grace. I'd say they would have preferred them to let the play go. Gardner. Oh, he just about got his receiver. His head knocked. He's being decisive sometimes. Getting off just before the play clock expires. Gardner has him wide open receiver. Foot one. And Brown gets knocked down. It looked as if he was going to get the first down. Now, you also got to get him to the ground. That's a great tackle. He's hard to block. And he's low to the ground at six feet tall. He slips blocks and finds the first. Bobby's going to gamble on his horse. A lot of guys lined up to the left, unbalanced. The flag flies, it's first down. Somebody's got to be in the gap. The defensive line has to slide over. It makes it way too simple on Louisville. On first down, Gardner avoids some trouble and gets it out and completes it to Ty De La Cruz. It's 7 of 11 for 65 yards. Brown back to the ground. He not Bobby Petrino's team getting to dance under these lights. Trying to convert a third and one. Play fake from Gardner. Chickalo had a shot at Gardner and couldn't pull him down. What we talked about with Gardner, it's very rare a six foot five quarterback can run a four five five forty. Breaks an arm tackle. There's a face mask there. Making a good decision tucking the ball. Gardner firing underneath. The ball is not free. Oh, pressing need at Miami. Thought he would get a chance to play quickly and he has. We hope he's okay. As Gardner gets on third down tonight. Gardner another opportunity. Gardner has a man wide open and a flat draw. Pressure is down. Here's some man-to-man -man coverage, it looks like. Don't get back up. Third down and right through the hands. Dixie Davis, but the Cardinal efficient. Near first down and two. Gardner's going to take a shot. He's got a man downfield. He's complete in the Miami territory. I feel like they've given Wallace a good shot. Gardner gets away and he goes down and he's sacked. Pretty healthy right now. 
Hawk and able to get a little bit of a pass for us. Gardner holding it and looking for some way to Run it. unload it, and then he didn't, so and Denzel Perryman was there. So, now, Will Gardner back at the helm. Wanted to take a shot, getting a lot of pressure, and the football's loose on the ground. I'm not sure Miami realizes it, and another guy came in and picked it up. Security's been the biggest issue for Will Gardner. You heard Bobby Petrino tell Sam at halftime, he's got to understand to put the football onto his chest and understand when the play's dead, he's just flopping it around like a loaf of bread in his right hand. Miami players are swatting at it. That's the second. Will Gardner gives it to Dominique Brown. Miami defense is there. After. He beat out a guy in Jake Heaps. He started 25 games. It's remarkable. Will Gardner's pass is complete. He's making his first start of the night. He's a graduate transfer. Kansas changed his offense and he wanted to play in a pro-style system. James Quick has it down close to the 30-yard line. I think. What do you guys think? Nope. They do pick up the first downs and the only one offensive touchdown tonight, trying to get another good throw from Gardner and another the route. We talked about how smooth he is. You're just going to see him. Number 18 at the top, just running an out route. And against Denzel Perryman, who's a much smoother. On the 15, cards back to the ground. Big hole into the end zone goes Dominic. That side of the line has opened it up. Good job by Joe. The play, but it's just a terrible throw. And if he puts that thing on Dobard, Dobard might still be running. Speaking of still running, James Quick is for ground when pressured, but 16 of 23, efficient passing the ball. Short gain on first down for Brown. I like it. Yeah. Gardner starting to feel a little down deep. Get on the ground. Brown got some room. Thought for a second Dominique wasn't going to put his foot. Back to the ground. Dominique Brown. I think the offensive line, the offense has been non-existent largely in this half of Miami. Gardner just throws it away down the sideline. And they're going to let him throw it, but it's going to be safe. Tunnel, and bobbled, and... Save! Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of good and bad, but I would argue more good. Back to the ground. Bouncing into the outside. Brown, he'll have enough for the first game. You got these guys, they have to be more disciplined along the front. Stay in your gap. That works. Yep, that's, that's discipline from Olsen P. Injury that will keep him out for this entire season. Second and 13, Dominique Brown crashes down to the improved. I think it'll be big keys for whether or not they can get to the title game. And third and seven, Gardner gets it to Christian, who's running back last year. Met with Al Golden and decided that the Miami desperately needing a stop. L.J. Scott, freshman running back. All right, it's third and seven here. Just barely in field goal range. Back to the ground and close to the first down. And I've got to score twice. Unbalanced to the left. Miami didn't get that lined up right earlier tonight. Brown again the first from the projected time that Parker would be ready to go by the time the Seminoles play the Cardinals. That's a long way down the road. Give Bobby Petrino that extra time. Well, Petrino has never lost a season opening game for the Miami quarterback. Louisville trying to put it away. Will Gardner throwing into the end zone, and it's a touchdown for the Cardinals. Gerald Trisha outside. He's thrown the rock 33 times today. That is textbook cutting linebacker Raphael Kirby.